NMG issues results of a feasibility study for its integrated ortho analog material model projected to be North America's largest natural graphite operation with attractive economics. Damn, that is a mouthful. And in this video, I will unpack all the information that you need to grasp from this most recent feasibility study in bite-sized pieces. But first, let's get a bit of context. Don't you worry, I will not do an entire NMG overview in this video. Also, do not be disappointed since I'll link my most recent overview of NMG as well as the playlist to all my analysis videos on Nouveau Monographite right here and down in the description. Enjoy! Anyways, the context we should be talking about is this. NMG's grand plans for the future, which we should all be familiar with. You see, thus far we didn't really have a feasibility study for the entire project. We did have a feasibility study for the Metawini mine back from 2018, I believe. But this part was quite the mystery. We didn't really know too much about the economics of the bacon core and of material plant. And therefore, we didn't really know much about the economics of the entire project. Well, this brand spanking new feasibility study changes that. Now we do have a clear picture of the economics of NMG's grant plans, and they are quite interesting to say the least. What we have learned. First off, cost. We now know how much these facilities will cost apart from each other, but also combined. The magic number is 481 million Canadian dollars in initial capital expenditure for the Matawini mine, and roughly 923 million Canadian dollars in initial capital expenditures for the Bacon Corp plan. Those numbers equate to roughly 370 million US dollars and 710 million US dollars, respectively. Combined, the entire NMG phase 2 plan is expected to cost 1.4 billion Canadian rupees, which equates to 1.1 billion freedom bucks. Which, to be fair, is around the ballpark figure of 1 billion US dollars we have previously received from Eric Desnier, the CEO of the company, so not too bad. In their pretty recent investors briefing, NMG has broken these numbers further down. Of course, you can analyze these numbers further for yourself, but what I want to highlight right now is that NMG has penciled out quite a healthy contingency with roughly 145 million Canadian dollars as a contingency plan. So that is the initial cost picture. But of course, there are more costs we should talk about, for example, operational expenditures. And NMG plans to spend roughly 195 million Canadian dollars annually on operating their two facilities combined. As a reference, that gets down to a cost per ton of $565 for the Metawini mine. And of course, a $2,200 cost per ton for the bacon core and of material plant. In fact, both facilities expect to get a gross profit in the neighborhood of 75%, which is extremely solid especially for a commodity producer. And that is the cost picture complete. And to be honest, these numbers do not disappoint. Of course, there is still the NPV, which stands for net present value. In fact, the net present value of the two facilities combined is 2.36 billion Canadian dollars, pre-tax, which is again roughly 1.8 billion US dollars. Net present value is pretty complex, especially if you want to explain it briefly, but I'll do my best. NPV is the discounted value of all the future cash flows of the two facilities combined, minus all the costs. Of course, the discount rate used here is 8%, which is pretty close to what an investor would use. Basically, this number right here, the after-tax MPV, is what NMG should be worth today, assuming zero risk and an 8% discount rate. So, in a perfect risk-free world, NMG should be valued at 1.2 billion US dollars today. But of course, the world isn't perfect, thankfully, and today, NMG is being valued at slightly less than 300 million US dollars. So that is the value proposition that offers itself with NMG. We are trading at a significant discount compared to the MPV of the phase two plans. Now the question remains, does that discount weigh up against all the risks associated with NMG? For one, will NMG be able to raise that $1 billion figure needed for this project? 
Of course, we have already talked extensively about that topic in this video, so head over there if you are curious. And to be honest, that is the main gist behind this newest feasibility study. Since the net present value is sufficiently positive, NMG will continue executing on their grant plans. Also, the cost picture associated with the Bacon Core plant uh, gross profit in the neighborhood of 75%. That is significantly better than I would have ever expected. A commodity producer should be happy with a gross profit around the 30% mark. So according to my opinions, this feasibility study is extremely bullish for Nouveau Monde Graphite. And that is it from my side today. If you have any remaining questions regarding this feasibility study or NMG in general, do hit me up down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, peace.